a massive reform in New York State happening to a Medicaid program that allows certain folks with disabilities to receive care from their homes is continuing to move forward. This according to the state. Legislation co-sponsored by local lawmakers is aiming to essentially re-expand the program and provide greater transparency about the process. That effort is being met with opposition. Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio to explain what's happening with this deadline approaching. Isabel. Yes, good afternoon to both of you. The main thing happening with the Consumer Directed Personal Assistance Program, often referred to as CDPAP, is that it's transitioning from more than 600 financial intermediaries, which essentially provide administrative services such as payroll between Medicaid and the care workers, down to just one. Now, state lawmaker Pam Helming has signed on to a bipartisan bill which aims to repeal that. The big deadline is Tuesday, October 1st, not for the entire CDPAP system to transfer over to a single financial intermediary, but rather for the state, specifically the health department, to select the company which will receive the contract reward. Senator Pam Helming represents the 54th district, which includes Ontario, Wayne and Livingston counties and some towns within Monroe. She's now signed on to a bipartisan bill, 9901, which would repeal the current measure passed in the budget as it relates to there being just one statewide run financial intermediary, but rather allow the state health department to select more. And while I think this bill is on the right track and will help us um, if we can get it passed to continue to provide good care and services to the most vulnerable New Yorkers, I still struggle with some of the bill language that would allow the Department of Health to decide how many fiscal intermediaries we should have in the state. According to the governor's office, the reforms in the budget won't change the eligibility for CDPAP, nor a new requirement to reapply. Brian O'Malley is the executive director of the Alliance to Protect Home Care, or the CDPAP Association, which over the summer launched a multi-million dollar campaign to push against the reforms. He tells me it's nearly impossible to execute the transition of more than 600 FIs down to one due to the sheer volume of New York's program. Yeah. Yes, consumers will not have to reapply for Medicaid, but there are medicals that are necessary. There are medical exams for the workers that are necessary. There is paperwork, I-9 documents, W-2 documents that cannot transfer from one FI to the other. And frankly, unless the existing agency gets legal authorizations from the consumer and the worker, it's a violation of HIPAA. And let me just say this as well. Um, for those who say that this program is growing dramatically, no kidding, because people can stay in their homes where study after study will show you that that is where you have the most significant improvement, right? Your quality of life is better when you're in your own home. Now, Senate Bill 9901 would also give the state comptroller the authority to audit contracts for companies serving as fiscal intermediaries, something the current measure does not allow. Additionally, the country's largest healthcare worker union, 1199 SEIU, issued a letter in opposition to Senate Bill 9901. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.